In today's lesson, let's talk about how to do data entry work. So there are lots of data entry jobs on Upwork and on different online job portals. It's one of the most common jobs you can find and easiest to get a job for. So first of all, what is data entry work? So there, there are two kinds of data entry work or two kinds of work that clients consider to be data entry. The first one, the most common one, is when you're encoding data from a scanned document. Usually they send you a PDF um, of like a textbook or something like that, and you put it into a Word or Excel document. So just whatever you see, and then you just type it in Word or Excel. Um, some other data entry work can be copy and copy pasting data from one form to another. So you could be looking at, let's say, a directory of businesses and you'd be copying and pasting their data into Excel in the Excel spreadsheet. Take note that copy pasting from data from one form into another usually involves data research skills. So sometimes a client will tell you, do research on uh, the different, let's say, email addresses of contact people in this company. So you're going to have to do some research to find those email addresses in addition to data entry. So just be aware of that when you're applying for a job. Be sure to read the job description properly before submitting an application. First of all, what equipment do you need? Okay, so you need a computer, definitely. You can't do this on your mobile phone. You need Microsoft Word or Excel, or even if you don't have Microsoft Word or Excel, you can always use the, the free tools, Google Docs and Google Sheets. Optionally, it would be really good if you had a second monitor because if you have two screens, you can have the, the scanned PDF on one of them and then you can have your own screen on the other and then you can just look between those two screens. It's very easy. What some people do is they, on one screen, they have half of the screen be the like Microsoft Word and half of the screen be the PDF scanned document. So either way, but a second screen would really help you do your work faster since you can also see more. What skills do you need? Well, you need fast typing skills. And then you need to have basic skills in Microsoft Word, Excel, or Google Docs and Google Sheets. So you don't need to know formulas and complicated stuff in, in Microsoft Excel. You just need to know how to navigate and just basic skills in Excel. How do you improve your typing skills? So typing skills are very important for data entry because the faster you can type, the more work you can get done and the higher you can get paid. So you can go to a website like typingtest.com um, and just practice there. And as you practice, you should increase your words per minute or WPM. A good word per minute to start off is 60 words per minute. If you can type in 60 words per minute, then you're above average. And you're, you should be good to do data entry work. And if you can reach 100 words per minute, that's even better. Um, and I, I usually type around 100 words per minute. So if you can reach that speed, then you can do a lot of work and get paid a lot higher. So where do you find jobs? You can go on Upwork.com, Freelancer.com, Golance.com. You can even create a profile on Fiverr.com. Um, and almost all the different online job portals will have data entry work. So why would you do data entry work in the first place? Data entry work is easy to do. It doesn't really require skills and it doesn't really require education. So you don't need to, let's say for example, enroll in one of my courses. I have the VA bootcamp. You don't need that if you're just gonna do data entry work because it's really easy to do. And you can get started on it immediately and your only training probably would be your typing test, increasing your typing speed. Some reasons why not to do data entry work. First of all, it's boring. There's no excitement. You're just typing, 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 and that's it. So it can get very boring. The pay is a bit low compared to other jobs. If you do, like, if you become a virtual assistant, you can charge five, eight, ten, fifteen dollars an hour. Data entry usually you stay around three to maybe six dollars an hour so there's a big difference in pay also there's no room for growth even if you become a very good data entry person you're still data entry you can't become like a supervisor or a manager unless you venture once again into other areas like virtual assistant 
up. And if you are planning to become a virtual assistant or do writing work and things like that, you don't want to have the low paying jobs in your Upwork profile, like data entry, that's a low paying job. You don't want it to appear in your Upwork profile because clients are going to think that um, your rate is really low and they won't they won't be willing as much to pay you higher. All right, so that's it about data entry work. Um, you can go ahead and apply for data entry jobs, or if you if you want to look for other kinds of jobs, then I have other tutorials on, on in my videos and on the website. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel on YouTube so you can get more videos in the future. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.